Today marks National Paella Day, and what better way to celebrate this delicious food filled with tradition than to make it ourselves? Here to show us how to do just that is Bayota Executive Chef Gonzalo Tecuaque. Gonzalo, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us, and then, um, you know, so we're here for have fun and celebrate uh, Paella National Day. So excited. Now, before we get into paella, let's first talk about your restaurant and how you're the executive chef there. When people walk into Bellota, what can they expect? Well, Bellota is like a very um, dynamic cuisine. So I, I describe uh, our restaurant like a very dynamic. Um, we have like a very uh, traditional cuisine and mm -hmm. then, and of course, try to adapt this cuisine to San Francisco, California, you know, it's like, why not to have fun with dishes from uh, Spain or Europe mm -hmm. and then add that to California cuisine. So if you're going to Bellota, we're going to find dishes like a very traditional, but a dishes with a twist from California cuisine. Wonderful. And one of those dishes I know that people can find on the menu is the paella. And like we said, today is National Spanish Paella yes, Day. Yes, it is. So for those of our guests who may not know what paella is, describe to us what this traditional dish is. Paella is like a very traditional uh, dish in Spain. Spanish people, they are very, um, you know, happy and they very proud of uh, paella. Um, you can People in Spain, they use a paella, you know, for gathering, you know, start like a, having a party, barbecue, yeah. do something with a friend, especially white wine, red wine, you know, kind of a big thing in Spain too. But yeah, so one of the uh, paellas, um, especially because they are close to the sea, so they have like a lot of influence from seafood, yeah, you know, that makes and, sense. and then uh, so especially, you know, Valencia area, like, you know, and uh, when you go to Valencia, you can find like a a seafood paella with uh, some ingredients from the uh, air, like a rabbit, pork, chicken, and then, you know, create like a fun thing on a paella. That sounds really good. And because of that, we're going to make our own paella today. Now, we're going to show you all the ingredients. We, we have one dish finished, and then we're going to do an unfinished dish just to show you how to assemble paella. So what's the first step in creating paella? Okay, first step, especially on the paella, mm. um, you have to go with some nice Spanish olive oil, you know, like Arbequina yeah. will great for that. Or oh, we are in California, so we have, we are lucky to have, uh, you know, a great uh, uh, produce especially from Napa Valley, so you can find a nice olive oil in Napa. So, uh -huh. so first you go with the oil, so and then, so we had to add bomba rice. So bomba rice is like a very particular rice for paella. And I'm gonna pour that oh, in. Perfect. To show yeah, everybody. do it. Yeah. So you uh, do this. We pour this this first part in. Yes. Uh huh. So and then so you uncooked. Uncooked. Yeah. So and then you st uh, start adding you uh, vegetables like a. Uh, for example, in uh, Bellota, we have a vegetarian paella, so why not to go vegetarian today? Yes. So we have uh, our uh, asparagus over here, like uh, they are very start on the season right now. So we have some Love English that. peas over here, so we can nice. use that for our paella and go ahead, English throw it peas. In there. Like uh, they are like a very big thing in Spain too. Awesome. So you did it a little bit more elegantly than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you did good too. You think I did good? And then, so we have herbs. So herbs, like they are very good mm -hmm. thing in Spain. So especially paella, like they are giving to the paella very uh, aromatic, mm -hmm. uh, a good flavor and, and good character. So for this, we're going to add in a rosemary. Lovely. And then on this side, we have thyme. So thyme Ooh, is one of the more, uh, one of my favorite herbs we have. Really? So, yep. So, okay. And then, so you let cook the paella for half an mm -hmm. hour? Half an or, hour? Yes. Or you have to be checking your rice until you think you're done. Mm -hmm. It's perfect to eat. All right, so these are pretty much all the main ingredients for paella. And like you said, about 30 minutes or so, right, to cook this dish? Yes, it's about 30 minutes. Okay, now yeah. you, now you yourself over here, this is a seafood paella, right? Yes. So can you, now we're gonna take a look over here at this finished dish. Tell me some of the ingredients that you put in this Spanish paella. Okay, so the, uh, for this paella, I went a little on the Valencia area, so we have, uh, clams, so we have shrimps, so we have uh, these uh, big shrimps, uh, I think in Spain they call them cigalas, mm -hmm. so we have scallops, so, and then of course we have uh, some spring veggies, like uh, English peas and piquillo peppers. Piquillo peppers, they are really popular in Spain, mm -hmm. uh, big thing in Spain, 
and give to the paella like a, a different flavor profile. Wonderful. Now, before we try this finished paella, uh, I heard that there is some kind of a wine tradition in Spain before eating, right? Can you uh, tell me about it the is. Tradition? Yes, it is. So, okay. So, you know, in Spain, so they have this thing like they call porlon. So, um, I'm not a professional person like a <laughs> drinking porong, but I can okay. do something. Okay. So, yeah, so you can pour like a, especially white wine. Mm -hmm. and, and then you can grab your porong. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to do this with me. Okay, I'll do uh, it with okay. you. You first. <laughs> okay, so just grab your porong, go uh -huh. a little high, and then. Nice. That's great, Gonzalo. You're a little bit better than me. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's good for you. Good job. Okay, and I'm, then... I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it a little bit closer. Yeah, a little bit closer. I'm yeah. not a pro like uh, well, you. All right, here we go. I'm not. Everybody. So. All right. I'm just... really hoping I don't mess this up. Should be good. There we go. Yeah. We got the tradition, everybody. Okay. All right. Now it's time to eat. Now that we have the wine tradition down. I'd like to try a little bit of this Spanish paella, yes. if you don't mind. Yeah. So right. one of the other things in the paella, uh -huh. um, it's you have to check on the bottom of the paella, they have this thing called socarrat. So socarrat is mm -hmm. like a crispy rice on the bottom mm -hmm. with caramelization of the onions, um, uh, scraps of the stocks, and then make like a nice crispy texture on the bottom. So yeah, let's check it out. If we see some. Yeah, perfect. Let's check it out. So Jenny. there. So it's normal to have a little bit of crispy rice at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, crispy there. rice on the bottom. Okay, yeah. I love so that. it's got to be like a little brown on the bottom. So nice. let's start on this side too, perfect. and then. Here we go. Here we go. Listen, so, the anticipation okay. is crazy. Um, and so, you can see all these beautiful flavors. Like you said, this is a seafood paella, so we can see a lot of really good seafood. So, in and here. then there we, we have go. some caramelized onions, caramelized rice, caramelized veggies. We got some shrimp in and there. Shrimps. And then one last time, as you hand me that, I'll go ahead and try this. Where can people find the restaurant and all of the information to make reservations? Okay, so we are located in uh, Airbnb yep. building. So uh -huh. the address of our restaurant is 888 Brandon Street. So you guys are welcome to check it out anytime. So like I say, we have very traditional dishes. And then, of course, I'm from Mexico. I'm being adding like a, lot, a little bit of Latin flavors on that. Yeah. You know, play a little bit with the flavors on the Spanish culture too. Wonderful. Well, let me take a bite of this real quick. Try this, like you said, caramelized paella down at the bottom. Here we go. Oh my goodness. The flavor game is amazing, everybody. Mm. Chef Gonzalo, thank you so much for joining us here today on Live in the Bay. I appreciate it so much. Everybody, you need to get yourself some paella for National Paella Day. Thank you so no, much. No, thank you so much. Thank of you. Course.